Hello Scorpios, it's your girl Prissy here to do your general reading check-in for the month of November, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what the overall energy is, then we're going to go to week by week to see how your month is going to play out. Real quick, let's do some friendly reminders that tarot for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading, however I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, click that description box down below. All right, so overall energy for you guys. Let's see, we have the Magician here, the Knight of Wands, I'm going to flip her around, the High Priestess, and the King of Wands, or Page of Wands. All right, so what's happening here, we're going to clarify, um, it does look like an overall good month for you. It looks like high sexual energy as well this month. It looks like someone is going to be feeling very creative and ambitious this month as well because they're listening to their intuition. They may have moments where they doubt themselves. Um, however, I do see that it, they kind of pick themselves back up and they start again, okay? Let's clarify a little bit. Two of Cups, when it comes to Magician... Um, they are going to do, they have what it takes or you have what it takes in order to make things work and in regards to relationship. That's why things are a little spicy again. Um, it does look like you have found your soulmates um, because now we have a six of cups coming in. It's like, um, I want to try again. I want to try harder. I want to make sure that I'm not stuck in my mind or self-sabotaging the situation over here. Um, I do know that sometimes I spend a lot of time on my own. Um, but I really want to branch out and make things work a little bit. All right. So it looks like someone's putting an effort this month. Um, and it looks like that they are going to try to have more fun in a relationship this month. Okay. Um, and kind of just like bring the spark back or something like that. Um, so let's go into a week by week basis and see what's happening. All right. Okay, so we have temperance, so we're trying to be patient with the situation. What's happening? Week one for my lovely Scorpios, please. Scorpios, week one, we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Did we spend a little bit too much money that we're not thinking of? Um, there's something in regards to the first week of November that it's kind of like... Um, you might even be having like an argument about money or something like that. For some reason, it's like, um, or you had to have a big expense that happened. And it's kind of like, it, it hurts. It hurts you to spend that money, right? Um, so what I'm seeing here is that you did see it coming. So this was not unexpected or anything like that. It's like you saw this coming. Um, and now here it is. And now it's like, you have to deal with it. Um, is it going to completely knock you down and kill you? No, it's not. It just looks like you might have to kind of, it might wipe you out a little bit. And you're like, great, now I have to start over again with my savings or something like that. Um, and that like hurts your little heart, okay? So next we have week number two. This is the mid-month, what we have going on. Oh, okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever money you lost week one, being replenished week two. You don't have anything to worry about over here, okay? This is things coming in your favor. It's like a, a blessing almost coming in. You might even get like a big lump sum that's coming in this week. Um, and you may find out something online or you might be working online, something like that. I don't know. But the point is, um, whatever you were stressed about week one, when it comes to finances, you're not going to have to worry about that by the next week, okay? It looks like a very um, short term issue that's happening which is good that's a, ideally what we want right so week number three let's see what we have going on week number three things are looking a little spicy we are very creative um when it comes to our relationships we have we know who we want and we want to uh lay down the pipe with um um to make that a permanent thing okay whatever that means to you you take it and see, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but it looks like a lot of wands here. A lot of action being taken this week, okay? So this is like you doing task after task after task and so on and so forth. But a lot of progression here, okay? One, two, four. Um, this talks about here I am starting this task. I am choosing the path to be able to do so, to be able to go on that. I'm taking the action and now by the end of the week, you feel like you have a good footing, okay? So it looks like a lot of action being taken in. And then nine of wands, make sure you don't overwhelm yourself. Make sure you're not doing too much, 
um, on week. It look, you are doing a lot. So it looks like things might be even piling up. Maybe you're doing too much, you know? Don't overwork yourself, okay? So week number four, let's see what we have going on. Week four, we have the strength card over here. We have the strength card, the devil, and the nine of swords. It looks like you are your own worst enemy here, okay? It's like you're letting your thoughts get the best of you as we leave the month. Why are we doing that? I do see a strength card, though, so... It's like 50-50, uh, okay? Um, this might be in regards to someone who you communicate on the phone with a lot. Where you're like, what are they doing? Where are they at? Why haven't I heard to them? Or why haven't I heard them? They're starting to become a little codependent. Or maybe you're starting to become a little codependent. Um, so I do see Seven of Swords. This is like you are your own worst enemy. Don't let your thoughts get the best of you here, okay? Because I definitely see that. It's like for some reason at the end of the month you feel like um, you're being defeated almost, okay? Um, but I do see, let's clarify the Strength card over here. What's that about? Because I feel like on the surface, that's not happening. It just feels like you have all these little problems that have building up. Um, and you're like, yeah, I know I can make this work. We have the sun. I'm optimistic that I can make this work. But uh, at the same time, I can't think about anything else because things are piling up, right? So it's a, a mix of being optimistic and a mix of... I'm stressed out because holy shit, see, we talked about that last week where don't get overwhelmed, don't overwork yourself um, because things are piling up. It looks like week four, as you're leaving the month, you now you feel overwhelmed. Um, but you also know that you can make out of this situation, okay? So it's like, I'm stressed, I can't deal with anything else, I can't think about anything else, but I know that I'll be out of this very soon. All right, so that's going to be your reading. Until next time, bye.